And hello, everyone. Welcome to my uh, presentation. My topic is set up an automated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth testing system for the gel. Uh, my name is Li Xiaoming. I work for Fujitsu's uh, HL team since 2018. I have several presentations uh, in the past for member meeting. Maybe you can meet me. Uh, in this talk, in this uh, talk, I will mainly talk talk about uh, first idea uh, of testing Wi-Fi, and the second uh, integrate Android Google Android it shell into Bluetooth testing. Uh, in the beginning, I will first introduce how we test the Wi-Fi in the uh, past days. Uh, HL have a Wi-Fi application every time we, when we want to test the Wi-Fi function. We will start up the Wi-Fi application and uh, choose a Wi-Fi SSID and uh, input the password and collect it, and then check the collecting status. But it can work. But uh, this this process will cost us much much time. Uh, if if it, if it is a real uh, industrial product, it will cost us too much money. So we want to uh, invent a new method to uh, automate it. Uh, we don't in the at first we don't want to re invent a new bill. Uh, we want to find if there is any existing tool. Or system, so uh, we browse, we find that, but um, but most of these tools, system or system are designed for Android or desktop apps, and they most of them are very complex have many dependencies. Uh, if we want to port this system to a gel, it will cost us too much time. Uh, maybe we add, need to add many uh, other packages to a gel's image. Uh, and at last, uh, this system uh, we will need, we will take too much time to learn to use it. For example, it is a uh, common uh, web automation test automated test assistant diagram. Uh, we can see that is there is many many. Uh, components inside it. I think one uh, in the first sign we will got a impression that it's very very complex if we want to uh, port it or we if we want to uh, study it it will take too much time. So so if we, how about we develop a new system from scratch? What the new system should be? First, the less, the less dependencies, the better. And the second, it must provide command line fit 
then we can extend it, extend it, and um, it have uh, easy to get hardware, highly custom software, software system, operating system, and uh, we can also generate test report. Test test report is very important, and uh, and the hardware and the software should have a uh, strong strong support and uh, it's better can extend our test system with other framework so we design a system like like this one um, This topic ball is uh, runs have a gel inside, and this wireless a AP wireless router. This is the wireless wireless router. This is the PC host. Uh, and then I will introduce these components in details first. What is OpenWRT? What is the wireless OpenWRT inside the wireless router? First, OpenWRT is the open source operating system. Uh, it is designed easy to control. While OpenWRT, we can easy to control Wi-Fi setting uh, uh, using a shell script. And uh, we can now is a mature, a strong foreign and documentation. We can uh, find help to configure the OpenWRT. And OpenWRT is uh, very popular, have a long list of sporty devices. Of course, it's open source. And uh, how? How we can deploy OpenWRT to our device? First, how to how can we get OpenWRT running? First, we need to get a supported device, and uh, then we need to download OpenWRT software and build it and install it, uh, flash the image to your root wireless router. And then we need to uh, read the document and uh, use it. I think OpenWRT is very to use. The user interface uh, don't have much difference, many difference with the common Soho uh, wireless router. And uh, you can buy a wireless router with. Uh, open open WRT already uh, installed is also I think it's not a it's a not a bad idea. It will save you much time. Oh, it's a uh, open WRT screen shot. Uh, in this picture, in this screenshot, we I only show. The OpenWRT is the Wi Fi uh, setting interface. Here, you know, we can see there is many, uh, many arguments we can choose. But the most of them, we can left it as default. If, we, if you don't want to use OpenWRT, we can also use, for example, DDWRT, Tomato, or, or uh, maybe other open source platform. Or you can also use uh, Hostpad. Uh, I have. They should all. They should all should work. I think. And then, what is collection manager? 
let's back to the illustration of our test system. Here, we need to you uh, every time we need to use collection manager to control the target board. So what's the use of collection manager here? Collection manager is a command line network manager. So what's it, what is command collection manager designed for? It's designed for use with the value device. It's designed for use with faster resolve times. It's very fast to boot, to power, to power off the target board for the wireless AP, wireless router. Fortunately, HGO profile, HGO demo platform image already have a collection manager inside, so we don't need to deploy collection manager. Uh, collection manager style brand. Uh, but we uh, we don't need to start to maximize the details of this diagram. Uh, we just need to know how to use it. For example, uh, we can use collection manager controls can service collect state their uh, common commands to uh, find a Wi-Fi signal. Uh, to connect to the Wi-Fi signal and to check the Wi-Fi status, collection status. Uh, collection manager also provide interact interactive model. Uh, if we need to uh, connect to a Wi-Fi signal with the password, we need to use the interactive model. But if we want to use shell script to uh, automation the collection process and we want to avoid the interactive mode and we don't want to use uh, the, want to use any advanced shell script technology we can save the Wi-Fi password in some uh, collection manager uh, config files to, in, to avoid the interactive model. And how we can uh, collect all these things together, or how can we combine these all collection manager of the WRT and the target board to get edge all together? Here is a complete test cycle. Test flow. First, we need to loading a test case sheet uh, to reserve the files. And uh, we, we load the test case and uh, read the test case. And uh, we uh, log in over uh, WRT and uh, update its Wi Fi setting. Usually, we need to wait several seconds to uh, until the uh, wireless router to uh, update and refresh its setting. And then we can knock in the target board, uh, agile target board, and use the collection manager to collect the, the Wi Fi signal, to collect it to a new Wi Fi signal. And then at last, we need to check the test state, Wi Fi status, and write the test the result into the test report. Uh, in our in this use this new test system, we can fish uh, over two hundred test cases, uh, no more than one hour. And I think the test uh, test time depend on uh, other factors. Uh, for example, your test case. Uh, design mechanism, your know, wireless routers uh, setting. And you can only you can also add some user friendly user interface, for example, jack hands or other CI framework. Uh, if you do this, 
you, uh, this test system can be scheduled be uh, some other guys. I mean, even if they don't be video, don't be video with the technically just the test system details, and uh, you can uh, inter integrate this test system with the complete CI uh, process. You can also uh, integrate the Japan's uh, advanced uh, report mechanism, for example, email report, email notice mechanism into, test, into the test, test system. And then I want to introduce our uh, work in the Bluetooth test. Uh, we have add a new tool into the Bluetooth test. It's, it's uh, Andrews ADV. Uh, here, this one is ADB. And here is the AGL target board. This is smartphone. Every time uh, If we want to use ADB, we first we need to take the smartphones. Uh, it's better to take the smartphone to root privilege. Uh, I we also we only uh, test the Google Angel. Uh, I can't tell you which brand, which model. Uh, it's easy to get the root permission. Uh, you need to try it yourself. Google and your uh, the mark bridge also also know also know as ADB can give us much help when we test the Bluetooth. Uh, what is ADB? ADB is a command line utility uh, included with Android SDK. ADB can control device over USB uh, from a computer. For example, you can copy files remove files, install, uninstall apps, run shell com commands. Uh, the most useful command is to run shell commands. And we can also uh, uh, do other things while ADB shell. Uh, for example, uh, if we want to use ADB, first we need to enable the Android smartphones debug model. Uh, every brand, every model of smartphone have a different different debug model uh, enable method. Uh, only use ADB don't need a root permission. You only need to the debug model enable. But only ADB, some ADB commands need the Android's root permission. Uh, while the ADB is Bluetooth commands, you can, there is many useful uh, ADB Bluetooth commands you can use to help you test the Bluetooth function. For example, you can enable disable Bluetooth function, you can monitor Bluetooth status, you can take a back the Bluetooth app logs. Uh, there is the many many other uh, ADB shell commands. You can check the Android's uh, documentation. Every time when we want to test the Bluetooth function, first we log in to the ADB shell, and then we enable the Android smartphone Bluetooth. And then we can log into the Java Target Board and uh, manually uh, connect it to the Bluetooth function. And then we will uh, check the Bluetooth collection status. If, if it fails, we can take the Bluetooth uh, logs back via the ADB shell. Uh, we can also, enable disable the Bluetooth function Bluetooth uh, in your smartphone. 
and uh, recollect. That's all. Uh, future work, uh, we want to uh, integrate uh, our Wi-Fi test system into a uh, uh, into a Lama. Uh, maybe we can separate it as a test job. We can uh, and we also want to optimize the test report as other Wi-Fi formats. Um, uh, we. I uh, also want to uh, find some practical, practical Wi-Fi test shoes uh, to uh, test the Wi-Fi system so other functions. That's all.